Tonight, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an and interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Check, check, watch the defense. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down nice play right there to stop him behind the line but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than I he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through there's nothing but room to run now on second and 13 prescott and the seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down so that time charles a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that they were on him instantly and they decided to go with the safety blitz there and look if that gets picked up quarterback really has the advantage then because he'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space but when it doesn't that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield, and oftentimes the QB ends up on his backside, as he did there. And the next-gen stat's going to show just how much time he had to make a decision, and it's not much. Three seconds, the final clocking. He finds his target. It's Schultz, and they're able to bring him down at the 20. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Now it's Lockett. Call it an even 40-yard punt, seven, though, on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense. The veteran Wilson, a third-round pick back in 2012. When I was watching film this week. I had to write a note to myself. Three touchdown passes in an NFL game deserves respect not ho-hum just because they throw it around all the time and he got his respect nfc offensive player of the week yeah it's the ultimate vote of confidence from a week ago hey look he was great not his best game ever but obviously was very good to garner that award all the talk this week though was about let's take that forward now nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one 
This is Carson. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 41. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Will Disley, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. It leads to second and ten. Throwing again. Wilson dancing to his left. He'll run it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Get out, Scoreless after one. With no score. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Now Wilson. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Open is Olsen. He's got it. Touchdown, Seahawks. Touchdown, Seattle. Greg Olsen. His fifth touchdown now on the year, as his guys are on the board first here tonight. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it up. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. The former Longhorn back home, Earl Thomas. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. After the interception, here's Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. Will Disley, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Brings up second and 10. To throw again, Wilson. His throw caught right around the six. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle! Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. 
And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Russell Wilson now will bring his guys up to go for two. From the gun, it's Wilson, buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone to buck the lead up two more. So their second touchdown of this first half, they went for two after score number one, didn't get it, now they get the equalizer, so to speak. So to speak, and you can understand the thinking. Because they didn't get it after the first score, they wanted to get back to a normal points pattern, get up to 14. But just think, if they missed it here, they're only up 12 to nothing. One extra point on the other side could ultimately beat you if they score twice. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick drive. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Prescott on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. On first down, it's Carson. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw, and he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now, and the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 21 to zip. The kickoff for Seattle. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. Bottom line, he's got to figure things out. He's completed three passes, but two of them have been to the wrong team so far. And when we talk about the best quarterbacks, we're usually talking about touchdown to interception ratio, aren't we? And two to one is acceptable, but the top line guys, three to one or better is what they're looking for. Now we're talking about interceptions versus completions. That's not a ratio should ever be in any discussion. Now the Cowboys gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, pressure cuts, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. The Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On third down, Elliott. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. 
That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, standing just outside his own goal line. Returnable for Lockett. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation... And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. You normally talk about the mobility and the accuracy first, but the arm strength, that's what can turn Russ into danger, Russ. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And to put a bow on it, next gen stats saying that traveled an even 66 yards in the air. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. For Seattle. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Takes it at the seven. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you over to our, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well. Trying to make it nine in a row. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They run it with Carson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Wilson. Short throw to Disley, and he gets it down to the 32. Four yards to pick up, first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Check 15, check 15. Now Carlos Hyde in the game. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. First down, Seattle. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Back now in Arlington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And he'll take this down for about four yards, down to the 15. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's now second and six. And they run again with Carson. Get off the field. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. From the six. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. At their own 25 yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Prescott from the gun. Oh, Prescott stripped. Russell Wilson sacked. Okay. Out oh, oh, on the play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Russell Wilson in the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. And it's been a good game for him to this point, Charles. They're winning on the scoreboard. they got to be feeling pretty good. And it's always fun for them when they're not just winning on the scoreboard, but they're contributing in a big way. You see him throwing touchdown passes, watching this video. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So the victory here for Seattle. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Seahawks, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 and now to start this campaign. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals.